Hi everybody, we're now going to do 847. Again, you're going to need your ruler again for this page, so if you don't have your ruler, go grab it. What we're going to do is we're going to measure the sides of each triangle to the nearest quarter of an inch, and then we're going to say how many of those sides are equal lengths. So we're going to take our ruler and begin measuring this side to here, from here to here, and from here to here. To me, just looking at it, it looks to me like they're pretty much all the same length. But let's measure just to be sure. So if we measure from here to here, it's not, not quite an inch, it's what's called three-fourths of an inch, or three over four. If you look at your ruler, it's not quite going to the full one inch. It's going almost to the inch, but not quite. So this is three-fourths of an inch here, three-fourths of an inch here, and three-fourths of an inch here, because these are all the same size. And in this case, what they wanted us to say is state the number of sides that are equal lengths. So in this case, there are three sides that have equal lengths. Okay, let's go to number eight. Now, look as we look at this one, we know that these aren't the same length. So let's go ahead and measure to see what these lengths are. Let's do the long one first from here to here. See if you can measure that. This distance is one and a half inch, which is the whole number one in the fraction one half. From here to here, this is one inch. And let's measure the bottom now from here to here. That is also one inch. Again, the question is how many sides are equal? In this case, it's two. The bottom one and this one going up. So we have two sides that are equal. Also notice here, what does this mean again? If, if you remember from the previous page, whenever I have this little box inside of an angle, it means that it's a right angle. We're going to need that for later on, question 15. So see if you can remember which of these triangles have this little right angle mark. Okay, let's go to now, um, now to number 9. They look a little bit different to me. This one looks a little shorter than that one. So, but let's go ahead and measure to be precise from here to here. This is three-fourths of an inch, the fraction three over four. Let's do the big long one on the side from here to here. This one was one and a half, whole number one in the fraction one-half and from here to here, one inch. So what we had was three-fourths of an inch, one and a half inches, and one inch. How many sides are equal? Well, in this case, none of them are. So we're going to put a zero here for zero sides being equal in length. OK, let's go to uh, number 10. Let's measure the long one from here to here. It's one and three-fourths, the whole number one in the fraction three-fourths, the distance from here to here. That's one. And the distance from on the bottom from here to here, that's one and a half. So we have one inch one and three-fourths inches, and the bottom one and one-half inches. How many sides are equal length? It's the same thing as this one. None of them are. We're going to put a, go ahead and put a zero here for zero sides of equal lengths. Again, notice the mark here, the little box mark for the right angle. This is a right triangle that has a right angle. Okay, now let's go to number 11. What we're going to have to do for 11 through 14 is to compare the angles of each triangle and then circle the correct description. So they give us two choices here. We circle the one that is correct. So we have to read them both, look at the figure, and then decide which is the correct description. So let's look at 11 first of all. 
Okay. Is, does this have a right angle in it? Do you see that little mark anywhere? I don't. I pretty much think it's not that, but let's read the other one just to make sure. One angle is greater than a right angle. Well, if I look at the figure, this is not greater, that's smaller. This is smaller, but this actually, it's kind of hard to tell, but it is greater than a perfect corner, just by a little bit. So this is not correct, and our answer here is one angle is greater than a right angle. You can circle the second one. Number 12, it's a right triangle. Well, I look and see, I know for sure this means that it's a right angle and a right triangle, so I think it's this, but let's just check the second choice to be sure. Three angles are less than a right angle. No, that's not correct, because we do have this angle is a right angle. This is less than a right angle, and this is, but this is a right angle here. So we're going to get rid of this one, and we're going to circle the top one, that this is a right triangle. All right, let's look at number 13. Three angles are less than a right angle. Let me look here. Well, that one looks smaller than a right angle. So does that one, and so does that one. But just to be sure, I'm going to check the second choice and rule it out. It says one angle is greater than a right angle. No, that, that isn't the case. These are all smaller than perfect corners. So I'm going to get rid of sec the second choice and circle the first choice. And then number 14, the last one here, is one right angle. Do you see a right angle in that triangle? Do you see that little red box anywhere? I don't either. So I don't think that's right, but let's check the second choice to be sure. One angle is greater than a right angle. Yes, actually, one angle is greater than a right angle. It's up here. This one's really hard to tell because it almost looks like a perfect corner, but it's not quite. It's just a little bit bigger. So we're going to get rid of this choice and circle the second choice. Now remember, I told you to keep in your mind all the right triangles for number 15. Here's 15. It says, circle the triangles on this page that are right triangles. Now all we have to do is look for that little red box symbol that's indicated inside the triangle and we're going to know that those are right triangles. There's one here, number 8. There's one here, number 10. And here, number 12. And again, this right angle, this is a perfect corner from here to here. And we see in each of those examples a perfect corner, and if a triangle does have one perfect corner, it is called a right triangle. Okay, very good. We'll be on um, with another video for page, uh, for page 848. Okay, see you then.